Greetings gun enthusiasts. We are back from the range and first of all, for those of you questioning the scientific rigor of my ice chest transportation system, still ice in it, and now dead leaves because of course I sat down the, uh, the gel block mold in the water. But yes, I forgot to bring the candy thermometer, as I almost always do forget to bring the candy thermometer to the range with me. I, or I almost always forget something, not always the candy thermometer. But let's, uh, let's check these gel blocks for temperature right now. They've been in a hot car in that seafood cooler that I rescued from a dumpster behind a seafood restaurant in town because it was slightly contaminated with rotten seafood, but I hosed it out and, uh, and made it mine. So let's drive the candy thermometer in and see what we get. See if I can zoom in on that just a little bit. Okay. Um, angle here, come on, oh, 38 degrees, my block is 38 degrees after coming home from the range in that cooler with just a little bit of melted ice and some dead leaves left in it, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, the scientific rigor of my little test is not to be... Not to be questioned by all y'all little lay people out there. Look at that. It's 37.7. I'm what you call an expert, folks. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's almost zero scientific rigor in this test at all whatsoever. But this is a pretty good block. Uh, it's a little it's a little squishy. It's a, it's a, it's a solid 10% mix. Um, but. I, I've experimented with up to like a 12, 12 and a half percent mix just to get a good solid, solid block. And you do get a little bit shorter penetration out of those on average. Uh, but we're going to look at what we have today. I wanted to, I wanted to give uh, the new um, Remington HTP ammunition a, uh, a good test. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay, recording again. So this is what we tested today, folks. And then I made a second video, which I will also post, in which I fired a couple of these um, Underwood Gold Dot hollow points into the same block to show the uh, to show the results, get a little bit of a comparison. But these are the three projectiles that came out of the gel, the four layer denim test the bare gel test, and the two-layer denim test. And as you can see, there's not tremendous expansion with the denim tests. Um, on the Remington HTP, which kind of surprised me, given the, uh, given the results that others have gotten. Let's check out the two-layer denim. The two-layer denim shot. Probably find the widest diameter there. You know, it's not awful. It's, you know, 0.42. There is some. There's some expansion on that shot, on that bullet. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's nothing to write home about. How about the... The four-layer denim test again. It's it's expanding to about forty caliber. That that's not that's not awful, but it's not awesome either. The bear gel shot got a little bit wider. Five eight, five eight five. Uh, but you can see it's it's uh, it's bent back quite a bit. It's a pretty good shot. Uh, pr pretty good. Uh, Pretty good block there. 0 0.6, 0 0.606. 
So that's the uh, that's the expansion on the Remington HTP. I gotta say, this is a good ammunition. I would shoot this ammunition. I would carry this ammunition. This is a good ammunition. However, it's not as good as this. I'm not going to show the uh, the penetration because I showed that actually in the field, and then promptly broke my uh, my ruler. <sighs> but I am going to show the expansion of the denim shots from the, uh, the and these are four layer denim shots in the um, Underwood Gold Bots. Okay, that did not hit the table. I angled it down and it never did approach the table. This is a four layer denim shot with the Ruger. Again, I'll post links to both, both videos. 0.54. There's your 50% expansion on a 357 caliber starting starting diameter. 546. That's a good bullet right there. That's a really, really amazing, amazing round. These are and 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 the block, the gel column. Yeah, this is pretty that actually is a pretty good gel block, even at 10%. It's a pretty tough block. The penetration on that is over 16 inches. The gel column is about 16 and three quarters all told. 50, 0 .55, 0 .53, 0 .553 diameter. That's good, solid 50% expansion. In fact, it's well over 50% expansion on both of those. Because uh, 38 Special, remember, is a it's an old black powder rendering. 38 is actually not the caliber. It's 357. You know, it's a 36 caliber. It'd be more honest to call them by today's standards. But yeah, that again, do the little Ruger. Some powder residue on there today. <laughs> Man, fun shooting. But this is my carry ammo. For obvious reasons. That modern jacketed hollow point, 125 grain, hot loaded by Underwood, is getting righteous expansion. I even did, uh, I didn't capture it on camera, but I did an, another, another bear gel shot with that ammo as well, with the gold dot. You can see the classic gold dot right there. And that's expanded similarly to the, uh, the HTP. They're both about six tenths, both about six tenths of an inch in diameter. <clears throat> so you can compare those. There's bear gel shots of each. That's decent ammo for bear gel. Um, this one was stuck between the blocks right at the 13 and a half inch mark. Whereas this one, as shown on camera, stopped just short of 12. All right. Thanks, folks. Geographies are out.